His nickname was Chilly, C-H-I-L-L-Y. When I was growing up, that everybody knew him by that name. He was uh, a very gregarious type of person. And uh, everyone, most everyone knew him. He was one of the most well-known people I've ever known. And uh, everybody called him Chili. Olin Hatfield Chilson, better known as Chili, had the odds stacked against him early in life. Chili carved a path for his future that no one saw but him. He was a self-made man. He came out of great poverty. Uh, he started working when he was about 12 years old to help the family make it financially. And he was the hardest working man I think I probably ever knew. His work ethic was unbreakable. Chili found a love for sports. He carried over his can-do, will-do mindset from everyday work over to athletics. Chili had bigger plans, bigger goals in his life, and it all started at the University of Colorado. And when he arrived at the University of Colorado, the story I heard is that he was five foot eight inches tall and weighed 135 pounds. So he entered uh, school in, I believe it was 21. And uh, in 1922, the football team, which had done very well the previous year, was expected to be a championship football team. The quarterback of the team was a guy named Art Quinlan. Art Quinlan uh, was recognized as being probably one of the top quarterbacks in the league. Well, Art Quinlan broke his hand right before the first game. So that elevated my father to starting quarterback as a sophomore. Chili was a dynamic quarterback in just his sophomore year. He was called one of the nation's first jump passers to ever hit the gridiron. The Colorado Buffaloes won back-to-back -back titles in 1923 and 1924, led by the man known as Chili. He, he did so well, he was selected all-conference quarterback in his sophomore year of college. And it was the team that went untied, undefeated, and unscored upon. The only team in CU's history that ever happened with. In 1924, the CU Buffs were known as the Wonder Team. Chile was voted second team All-Western, an honorable mention All-American. The, the greatest quarterback of the 1920s, uh, the best shortstop that they ever had on the team, on the baseball team, the uh, best guard they'd ever had on a basketball team. I mean, it was that kind of buildup that I got as a kid. I mean, he was, in my eyes, he, he was a giant of a man. He's only five foot eight inches tall. Chili graduated from University of Colorado's School of Law in 1927 and served as the U.S. District Judge for Colorado for 26 years. Chilson passed away at the age of 87 and has since been inducted into the Colorado Sports Hall of Fame and a member of the University of Colorado's All-Century Football Team. Dad, I miss you. I always wished you were a part of my life <clears throat> throughout my life, and I have missed you, still miss you, and admire you very much and love you very much. Olin Hatfield Chilson, RMAC Hall of Fame, Class of 2018.